Quilty is brought to you by APQS, handcrafted quilting machines. Aurifil, Aurifil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Clockworks, inspiring creativity with art on fabric. Havel Sewing, when you need to cut it close, choose Havel's. P&B, our fabrics, your lifestyle. Quiltology, the urban quilt space. Quilty. Last summer, I made a curved log cabin quilt, and it is one of my absolute favorites. Today's Blocks A Go Go show is going to show you how to make a log cabin block, too. The curved log cabin is a variation on the log cabin quilt. This variation on the block uses some skinny pieces for one side of the log cabin and some thicker pieces, and that's how the curve starts to form. The first thing that you do, like so many quilts that we make, is you cut strips, okay? So the uh, strips that you cut, you wanna organize really, uh, really well. This is uh, a time where I would use a post-it, get your post-its out and label your, um, your stacks because you don't wanna get your different uh, lengths of your strips mixed up. You want to know which pile you are, are taking from, okay? So this is the green. I decided to do the step outs for this episode in green and red because maybe you need to be thinking about holiday quilt projects when you're watching this. Get started on those if you like. I used greens here for the, uh, the scrappy side of this curved log cabin. And then, so those are gonna stay in a very nice organized uh, row so we always know what we're pulling from and move these here and here is our contrasting side and these are cut one and a quarter and then you have all these different lengths check your pattern for those lengths uh, they will tell you just how you know how long they need to be okay so once you have all your fabric strips laid out very neatly in an organized way um, you're gonna start building your log cabin log by log I'm going to show you a finished block like in this quilt so you can see where the block is, we talked a little bit about it, but we're gonna do it again. So I wanna show you how this whole thing kinda works block by block. If you can, like, look at it like from far away, right, and see how all the scrappy side, this, this thicker logs, this is the this is the scrappiness, right? Here it's, you know, we're using green here, but it's it, this is how the curve happens. The smaller logs in my quilt, they're gray. In this little demo we're doing here, they're red. But this is the smaller side. And this is the contrasting curve, right? The shadow side. You got shadow and you've got sun. Shadows and sun, okay? So what I'm gonna show you now, so hopefully, hopefully that, that makes sense to you all. And uh, now what I wanna take a look at is this block step by step. This first piece is the very center piece and that is the center or the hearth of your log cabin. When you sew on your next log, you get a little something like this. Okay, so let's sew this together, and then we're gonna turn it and show you what comes next. Needle up, we're getting good, okay, great. I think that if you, if you tackle this quilt, you will find that the, the longest uh, amount of time you're gonna spend on anything is the cutting. You have to cut a lot of scraps. So the cutting takes the longest, but the sewing actually goes really quickly. Okay, down this, coming over here to iron. And open toward, well, we open toward the dark. Now the pattern tells you that you, uh, it says we recommend you press your seams open. That's a matter of opinion. It says you can do it either way. They press their seams open. Usually in quilt making, we press our seams toward the dark. Um, but there are many methods, you can choose the one that works for you, okay? So we have our little first piece, okay? We don't have time to sew every log to every side here on the show, but I've done it ahead of time. So let's take a look at each step um, as it's sewn and what it looks like. As you build out, you get the next sort of incarnation of this log cabin block, this curved log cabin. The next block, the le the next log is is added on to the side, right? And it's one of the bigger ones. I keep saying blog because it's like really in the modern era in our modern day we say blog a lot more than we say log. We're dealing with more blogs than we are log cabins. But if you're a quilter, maybe you're blogging and you're quilting and using both blogs and logs. So okay, here's our next one. Building it out, it's getting bigger. You see as it goes, getting bigger all the time. Adding another log. We're just going sort of like step by step to show you how these are built 
And then at the end, I'm going to show you the, the block again at the quilt. So see, we're getting, getting bigger and bigger. It's sort of half red and half green. I used all kinds of fun green scrappy, scrappy bits. Okay, bigger and bigger all the time. And as we're sewing, you know, we're like turning one quarter turn, adding a log, turning a quarter turn, adding a log, turning, sewing, turning, sewing, turning, sewing. Okay, so we've added more. We're getting there, we're getting there. And again, it's bigger still. Uh, log cabin pattern has been around for a very, very long time. They have found log cabin patterns in like ancient Egyptian sarcophaguses. And uh, back on the prairie, the women who would make these log cabin uh, blocks and log cabin quilts used to say that the center of the log cabin was the hearth and the darker side of the block was the shadow side of the house and the light side was the sunny side of the house. So it's just some really, really cool history and tradition. So at the end, you have this log cabin block and that's what it looks like. And so let's take it once more over to our quilt that's been done and show you, ta-da! These logs small on the side are the contrasting, these logs are bigger and they form the scrappy curvy stuff that's so lovely and we love it so much. Um, so I hope that you know a little bit more about log cabins now. Um, very historical block, very beautiful block, um, can't go wrong. And I think once you start making a log cabin block, uh, you'll really get into it and it's something you can come back to again and again. Like, oh, I'll just make a log cabin because it's really pretty easy once you take your time, read your pattern, you know, and go slowly. So I think I'm going to go blog about this log cabin quilt online. Visit us at heyquilty.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And if you have questions, email us, uh, mary at uh, qnntv.com. I'll try to answer all your emails. Yikes. And we really appreciate you all writing in and uh, being involved in the show. So that's your Curve Log Cabin. And I hope that you will come back and watch the next episode of Quilty next week. Bye. Quilty is brought to you by APQS, handcrafted quilting machines. Aurifil, Aurifil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Clothworks, inspiring creativity with art on fabric. Havel's Sewing, when you need to cut it close, choose Havel's. EMB, our fabrics, your lifestyle. Quiltology, the urban quilt space.